हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हिट्सअप्स लॉ इन रेडिएशन लेट्स वेगेन स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दैट हिट्सअप्स लॉ इन रेडिएशन द रेशियो ऑफ द इमिसी पावर ऑफ ए बॉडी टू इट्स ऑब्जर्टिव पावर एट एनी टेम्परेचर इज इक्वल टू द इमिसी पावर ऑफ ए परफेक्टली ब्लैक बॉडी एंड इज दस ऑलवेज ए कन्स्टेंट मैथमेटिकली इ लमडा डिवाइडेड बाई ए लमडा इज इक्वल टू कन्स्टेंट हुईच इज इक्वल टू इ लमडा ह्वाट इज इ लमडा इ लमडा इज द इमिसी पावर ऑफ ए बॉडी करेस्पंडिंग टू वेब लेंथ लमडा ए लमडा ऑब्जर्टिव पावर ऑफ ए बॉडी करेस्पंडिंग टू वेब लेंथ लमडा एंड कैपिटल ई लमडा द इमिशी पावर ऑफ ए परफेक्टली ब्लैक बॉडी एट द सेम टेम्परेचर एंड करेस्पंडिंग टू सेम वेब लेंथ लेट वी अंडरस्टैंड इट व्हाट एक्जैक्टली खिस लॉ indicates regarding radiations we can prove it let us consider two bodies one is general body let we consider this is uh, a general body and another one is perfectly black body perfectly black body and these two systems at uh, same temperature temperature is the same on both bodies okay here let thermal radiations are incident on that bodies this is thermal radiation again for perfectly black one we have to incident thermal radiations let we choose a unit area of that general body and uh, in case of thermal radiations it has uh, a various wavelengths but we consider a range of wavelength let that range of wavelength from lambda to lambda plus d lambda that thermal radiation with the wavelength lambda to lambda plus d lambda within that uh, wavelength range we consider this thermal radiation let the amount of thermal radiation incident on unit area per second of that of body is dq let 
dq which is equal to amount of thermal radiations amount of thermal radiations incident per second per unit area of the body in that of unit area dq amount of thermal radiation is incident and we choose that incident radiation within a spread of wavelength that is lambda to lambda plus d lambda within that range we consider the thermal radiations and here e lambda is the emissive power of that body corresponding to that of wavelength lambda what is emissive power emissive power is the amount of energy of thermal radiations emitted the amount of energy of thermal radiations emitted per unit time per unit area of that of surface means how much amount of thermal radiations are emitted from that uh, unit surface at unit time is known as emissive power e lambda is the emissive power of a body corresponding to that of wavelength lambda again a lambda be the absorptive power similarly what be the amount of thermal radiations are absorbed within that uh, unit area in unit time corresponding to that of wavelength lambda is taken as a lambda for that of general body okay so according to the law of conservation of energy according to the law of conservation of energy that is the amount of heat absorbed is equal to amount of heat emitted amount of heat absorbed is equal to amount of heat emitted in that of small unit area in unit time okay therefore the amount of heat absorbed that is equal to absorptive power into what be the amount of heat absorbed dq so absorptive power a lambda into dq that is the total amount of heat absorbed in that of unit area which is equal to amount of heat emitted that is emissive power e lambda into d lambda what be the strip of that of wavelength 
lambda to lambda plus plus d lambda the difference in wavelength d lambda the amount of heat emitted is equal to emitive uh, emitive emissive power into wavelength which is equal to we have to consider the ratio of emissive power to that of absorptive power so e lambda divided by a lambda is equal to dq divided by d lambda it taken as equation number 1 similarly for black body as we consider that thermal radiations within that of wavelength lambda to lambda plus d lambda and temperature on these two systems or that uh, two bodies are same here we consider a unit area of that of perfectly black body and the dq amount of heat also incident within that of unit area and for perfectly black body the emissive power e lambda is equal to let capital e lambda and absorptive power a lambda is equal to 1 for perfectly black body absorptive power is equal to 1 similarly similarly for perfectly black body for perfectly black body a lambda dq is equal to e lambda d lambda or a lambda as one so dq is equal to capital e lambda into d lambda here for perfectly black body a lambda is equal to e lambda sorry that is uh, e lambda emissive power is equal to e lambda and absorptive power is equal to 1 for perfectly black body as I write therefore the ratio of dq by d lambda is equal to e lambda equation number 2 from equation number 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 we get e lambda divided by a lambda is equal to e lambda which is constant it proves Kirchhoff's law which is known as Kirchhoff's law so Kirchhoff's law is proved what is E lambda? E lambda is the emissive power of a perfectly black body at same temperature and corresponding to that of same wavelength lambda as we taken these two bodies are at same temperature what exactly that uh, Kirchhoff's law signifies the physical importance of that of Kirchhoff's law look that expression if uh, E lambda is large then 
a lambda ultimately large means good emitters are good observers that law signifies good emitters are good observers good emitters are good observers so here with the help of this visual lecture we understand the concept of kirchhoff's law in radiation its statement then proof of that kirchhoff's law and finally its physical significant as good emitters are good observers so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up the session thank you